Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. And today we're taking a look at another model kit, but this time it's a little unique. This time we're taking a look at the 1987 no grade 1144 scale new Gundam. And thank you to Hobbyland Japan for sending me this old kit. Honestly, I really wanted something that is unique, old, but also pretty damn cool. And sure enough, they delivered. So go ahead and check out their website and see if you can get yourself some really old vintage kits. So go ahead, sit back, relax, and enjoy the build. Now once the kit is all built, it is going to have a lot of problems. One of the main problems is obviously it needs screws, and I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to use glue and liquid cement because, yeah, I'm not screwing in this kit. Also, um, a lot of molding defects, there's a lot of flashes and just like excess you know, plastic. So I'm going to have to do a lot of sanding on top of the seam line removal as you can see right here in the backpack. Now as you can see on the head, there's honestly just a big seam just running throughout the entire side of the head. So that's something I am going to have to remedy. And if you also see that it's a plain white head, it's going to be um, demanding a lot of paint to say the least. And I'm also going to have to do some sanding because the V-fins were not pointy. And I would much prefer to have pointy V-fins instead of that curved, dull looking one. Now if I try to remove the seam line on this body, I won't be able to put it onto the actual waist. So what I'm going to have to do is clip off a little bit of that uh, peg and it should be able to fit on just fine after.
And once all the parts are completely sanded down, it's time to give it a bath. Now for this white paint, it is the RX-78 version anime, and I'm going to be frank with you guys, I did not like it. I mean, the color is good, but uh, for some reason, I could not get the thinning ratio correct on this paint, so it's going to be spotty at some points on this kit, which is truly unfortunate, but I still made it work.
what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Now I didn't have any 1 to 144 scale new Gundam uh, decals, so I decided to strip them off of my Master Grave Arcade decal sheet that I just never used. <laughs>
Now I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you liked the build. I know a lot of people said it has the Alex kind of vibe, which was not what I was going for, but it came out really good anyways. So uh, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.